Hey, this is Laura Graves, and I'm going to show you Vengage, another free tool for creating infographics. Vengage doesn't offer any public templates, so you'll have to start from scratch. Um, once you create your graphic, though, you can save it into your templates and use it later. Um, because it doesn't have any templates, I think Vengage is probably better for users with more advanced design skills, unlike me. <laughs> and um, and it'll really give them a space to create something original and show off their skills. So over here on the left, Vengage offers you a variety of charts, pictograms, shapes, uh, text editing, and backgrounds. So we'll just start with the chart so you can see how it works. It's drag and drop, so you'll just drag and drop your chart over here. You can change its size, um, you know, by by using your arrows, and then you can, it's interactive, so it'll show you what your information is here. And then when you want to edit your information, you just double click it. You can change the title, the fonts, the style, the colors. Um, there's a few other little things you can change here. And then you go to advanced to change your data. And you just add it into these, um, these boxes, and you can add more data here. And so it's not it's not quite the same as the other programs we've looked at in my previous videos because there's no spreadsheet. And you can't really upload a spreadsheet into it. So that's kind of a downside, but you can just enter your information in and that's easy enough. So to change things, you can right click and we can delete we can um bring it to the front or move it back within the layers of the infographic. Uh, you can duplicate it, and then you can also do that to edit it. You can use pictograms, so let's use some hearts. And they'll show up like this, and just double click, and you change your rows, columns, units. And then if you want to make it maybe a little more dramatic, we can change the colors so you can really tell the difference. Then you have different shapes. There's uh, shapes that you can create for your infographic, some icons. Um, if you want to put people, there are maps. And uh, let's let's use a map because I think that's probably pretty interactive. Yeah, so um, you can change the colors per what states you want to show up. And then, of course, there's logos, nature, here's technology and internet, if you want to put any of those graphics on there. Then you can edit your text. You can put links into these, which I think is really cool. And you can add different backgrounds. So, you know, I can be blank or have just different mesh clean textures. I think those are probably pretty good backgrounds for these infographics because you don't really want too much going on back there. With the images, you can upload your own images or you can use images off the web. I think it's a really important side note here to make sure that you're not using copyright, copyrighted material. You want to look for images with Creative Commons licensing and make sure that you include attribution to the creator. This is really important to stress to your kids when you're letting them use this. So when you're done with your graphic, you can just publish it on a public page to share with others. There's no embed code offered, so you would have to code that yourself. Um, there are also no easy share buttons, which is kind of a downside to this. But like I said, I think if you have students who are really into design and want to create something original, um, this could be a good option for them. So that is Vengage.